Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and today in this video I'll be talking about the Nazi Zombie storyline for Black Ops 3 and how they could possibly enhance it for the future. Anyways guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment with your feedback, and please make sure to subscribe for more Zombies videos daily. Anyways guys, let's get started. So anyone that cares about the Zombie storyline knows how messed up it is, just in terms of how complex it is, but as well as the map sequence. We went from World War II to basically get like a Black Ops Vietnam era to now back to World War I. So my question to everyone is how could they possibly finish off the storyline of Nazi Zombies? Now many people might say, well they're not going to. Um, I think Jim Bethy, good friend of mine, said they were just backed into a corner. They had got the storyline so complex and so messed up they just had to get away out of it and they used Origins as a way out of uh, basically their death trap of zombies. While I love Jim Bethy, he's a cool guy, I have to disagree with him. I think that you know, since everyone did want the original characters back, that's why they did bring them back. Um, I really think that if we wouldn't have you know, complained as much like we did to Treyarch, they would have just left the original four characters in. Um, you know, Marlton, Misty, um, Stuinger, and can't think of the, uh, the scientist. Um, but I think that because we complained so much, they did have to make a special map for uh, the original characters because they could not just keep on going with uh, the Black Ops 2 crew. They couldn't bring the original crew back and then put them in the storyline for Black Ops 2. So, wouldn't have made sense. So, it, he is onto something there with Theorist back into a corner. But still, they did finish off the storyline, and I still think that uh, there's a lot more questions that were raised than actual answers given. So, um, one question in particular is how are they going to start off the storyline in terms of how it ended? Uh, I know that when we finish off the Origins Easter egg, you know, it's actually proven that it's you know just fake and it's just made up by uh, the little girl Samantha and little Rick Toffin or little Edward. So um, that's what I'm really kind of confused about, guys. I want to know what you guys say. I've been seeing a lot of videos, you know, saying there's a lot of maps being released and all this shit. It's honestly, guys, it's a bunch of bullshit. All of like these map ideas and stuff are just people on Reddit. Um, and I was gonna cover some of these maps because some of them sound pretty cool, but like I said, there's really nothing confirmed. It just it just, you know, people on Reddit that want to, you know, get opinions going. This is what this video is. It's an opinionated video. And I want to know what you guys think they should do to actually get the storyline started again and end it off completely. So, um, anyways, guys, if you're watching the video, please make sure to leave a comment saying Warfare. Um, if you guys have watched the video all the way through, make sure to leave a comment saying Warfare. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan. I would love to see an Origins 2.0, maybe in, you know, the 1919, maybe, or... You know, even after that, they somehow, you know, teleport from Maxis's house. It's, I don't even know, guys. It's, it's so complex, and I just want to know what you guys think as well. So thank you guys all for watching. My name is Ryan, and I'm out. Peace.